What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some Mono Green Tron. Got a creature based build with uh, Eye of Vecna. So we'll see what we can do. That hand is not going to do it. Only got one power plant. Then a single mine. Come on. Let's get both of those in a hand. Nope. Okay. We'll go to four. Well, I did ask for both of those in a hand. Um, I guess we'll keep this. Put three cards on the bottom. We'll keep the Sylvan Scrying and hope we can get there with the Relic and or a card off the top. All right. Cavern Souls gets the Humans deck. We're starting off with a Nature Vial. That's a pretty good start for him. Ooh, Sanctum's not really going to do us anything. So we'll just run out the Relic. I've seen a Boros Humans build that's been pretty powerful. It's a little more aggro than traditional humans. This could be what this is. Metallic Mimic and then Aether Vial and a human. Mm, it's a good find. They didn't use it on one. All right. Useful to know. Oh, wait, no, it was on zero. Never mind. Well, no, it was on one. Eh. We take it up to two. Yeah, they did start us. So some Boris humans are going to come in. Ooh, second metallic mimic. That's a lot of plus one, plus one counters. Yep. This is looking like that Boros build. I would like to top deck an Ursus Tower here. But I'll take an all his dust. Um, well, okay, it's not the best. We'll have the tower for next turn. Uh, Worm Coil is definitely our best play. Unlikely we're going to see a Pirate Freebooter here. But we are going to take Fuku damage. They're coming in with the... Chainsaw, excuse me, my cat is about to knock over my drink. Mochi! Oh, that was close. Ooh, so a little bit of an artifact sub theme here. And we are at five. Which means we're dead no matter what, aren't we?
It is a creature in addition to an artifact. That is... Hmm. Tricky. So we can block the five. We gain six. But I still, yeah, they still have us dead. We needed this a turn earlier, and they're going to put in another creature, yeah. Really what we need for this matchup is Calling Great Creator. I would have loved to have shut this down. If they didn't get us to five when they did, if we could have survived the Metallic Mimics, uh, the All is Dust would have been nice. Yeah, well, we'll block here. And still die. Let's take in these Platinum Angels. I don't think they have very much in the way of removal. No need for the Relic. Maybe some Nature's Claims. And we'll pull up the Kozilek. Yeah, that feels correct. It isn't turn three, so we can't keep it. Nope. Just getting lower and lower. Do we go to four, or do we do a via Vecna? Uh, I'm going to give it a shot. That Blasto might be really good. Uh. This will be the first time actually testing the IF Vecna. Yep, feeling a little slow. Uh, no. I can't pay the two there. See if we can draw a land off the top. Nope. Oof. Yep. Yeah, nope. This is rough. Arguably a worse start than that last hand.
Okay. Oh, so yeah, power plant on, off the top, or I think we're dead. Yep. Well, we have a four and fifty one chance. And we get there. All right, that buys us a little bit of rest. Not much, though, because they've pretty much refilled their hand. They have a 3-2 out. I'd really like an Ugin. Or worm coil engine. Is it worth it to potentially draw the extra card? No, I don't think it is. Not here. But we will go ahead and crack this just to thin the deck a bit. And that is what we were hoping for. Interesting. Gonna just call this Asmore. So Asmore hits the field. Not really an Urza's uh, or kitchen build, though. Really just humans splashing for Asmore. Not even splashing, really. Uh, they're gonna go get an artifact. Do we trade? Yes, we do. Okay, we get the Yavimaya, and we get second Worm Coil Engine. Very nice. Uh, 
Okay, so we can start the setup here. Worm coil engine. And Sanctum. We don't attack, we just let our engine, and we got blockers out. Don't believe we swing into this board state as of yet. They may use Asmore's ability to kill the Worm Coil, but we'll take the life gain off of it if they do. We're going to add a card to their hand and free play the Luris. Yep. Likely the Mishra's Bobble here. The funny thing is, even if they target the weaker lifelink, it still uh, gets me six life because it's dealing six damage to a target. Esper Sentinel. All right. Oh, nope, they're just going to take out the Death Touch. I'll take the trade. Can't quite get there this turn. But we will go ahead and pay that too. Sacrifice Sanctum. Ooh, do we pull out the Platinum Angel? Nope. Okay, we don't even have to reveal it. They don't think they have a way to get out of this lock. Nice. So the extra draw there is actually pretty useful. Uh, we got really lucky finding the power plant, but it kind of counteracted some of the bad luck from earlier. Do we bring in anything else? Warping Whale kind of loses its potency, and they are running a bunch of artifacts. I'd rather have the Nature's Claims. Plus their emergency life gain. Yes, I like this hand. Tron, backup expedition map, nature's claim, and a worm coil engine. Only thing better is if we can top deck a tower so we can set up an early nature's claim. Hey! All right, we're in a good spot.
Ooh, double S per sentinel. All right, the Aether Vial being gone will slow them. So if the one big card per turn. They're gonna get in for six. All right, I like it. No need to refill their hand. I'm fine just playing the creature. Hmm. You know what's really powerful right now? Setting up a blast zone for next turn. And we'll thrag task here. I'm better off with the blockers, I think. But yeah, three of the cards are one drops. Another metallic mimic. Is this the start of combat? All right. We will take that opportunity to begin setting up. Grab a sanctum. Run out this. And we'll start dealing some damage. All right. Good old wear and tear. We, but it's not an exile effect, so we still have our tokens.
I'll kill that. Hmm. Sacrifice this. We'll grab the Ulamog. And they're just going to scoop. I kind of wanted to go to the, for the Platinum Angel, but we know they have wear and tear. Granted, I don't think they'd have another one in hand, but that would have been good, just not being able to lose a game. But we got there in the end. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, make sure to leave it a like and uh, check out the channel for more content. Also, I've got a Discord server I'm setting up. You'll find the link on the channel or in the description below. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.